All right, time to rank Alolan forms, Galarian forms, Mega Evolutions, and Gigantamax forms. All right, let's do Alolan forms first. First off, we got Rattata. You know, honestly, as far as uh, Alolan forms go, pretty fucking boring. It's just a, just, it's just the same, but black with a mustache. This is a D. Like, who gives a shit? Uh, Raticate. It's a little funnier. I like the puffy cheeks. Do I love it? No. And also. Yeah, I, I don't know, but it's it's like a C. It's fine. Alolan Raichu. Now here here here's what we're talking about. I love the sort of surfboard angle, the sort of like the the blue eyes. Uh, I think those are the best parts. We're gonna get eight here, eight here for this fella. These ice ones are really fun. Sand Shroom. Um, I'm gonna say eight here. It looks cool. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I'm a sucker for like blue versions of Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I wanna like. Touch, touch the smooth ice on Sandshrew's back. And then Sand Slash, I think, is also at A tier. You know, it's the natural, you know, step up from ice version of Sandshrew. I like the ice spikes. It's cool. Get it? Alolan Vulpix, that's an S. That is, like, the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen. Look at this cotton candy fox. As if Vulpix wasn't cute enough, you're like, haha. But what if, uh, snow? Alolan Ninetales, um... Still good, like an A tier. I think, you know, Alolan Vulpix is perfect, and Alolan Ninetales is, like, also good, but uh, a little too, you know, maybe you need to comb out those curls. Maybe, you know, they look a little frazzled there. Alolan Diglett is funny, but obviously it's just kind of C tier, right? It's just it's just a Diglett with hair, which is okay, because Alolan Doug Trio is hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna say A tier just because it's funny. Um, I love that all three have different haircuts as well. They're basically a boy band, and I'm down for this. Alolan Meowth is going to be, uh, ooh, let's say A tier. Meowth is already a fantastic Pokemon, and then just to be like, hey, here's like its own, a very different vibe, but still captures the spirit of Meowth. It's great. Alolan Persian, though, it's gonna be a D tier. I, this balloon face, like, somebody stung Meowth's face with like a thousand bees and it turned into a big balloon head. Geodude, Alolan Geodude's fine. It's just eyebrows and spikes on its head. In fact, the spikes look kind of stupid. I'm gonna say C tier for Alolan Geodude. Alolan Graveler is, again, okay. C tier, doesn't really, again, the spikes don't really work. They look like just weird, gross hair, which I, I think maybe that's what they're going for, but I don't like it. Alolan Golem is, uh, the top thing is really stupid, but it's mustache kind of rules. So I'm going to say B tier. Chest hair? Beard? I don't... Maybe I don't want to know what that is. Alolan Grimer is, is pretty good. I like the yellow drippy mouth. Uh, we'll say B tier. But then Alolan Muck takes it up to the... That's... You know, a lot of these actually, you know, kind of like the evolutions better. Like Alolan Muck or Alolan Golem. Uh, yeah, just... I love the, it's kind of has that shimmery, colorful look. Uh, A tier. Alolan Exeggutor is an S tier. One of the funniest concepts they have in the game. It's just a thousand feet tall or whatever. It's, you can't even see it on the screen sometimes. Oh man. That's just fucking hilarious. Uh, S tier. Genius. Alolan Marowak is cool. Um, even though all they did was make it like black with a little mark on its head. The flaming bone is a really cool idea. I'm gonna go A tier. It's actually not that different, but it just looks cool. Galarian Meowth. Ah, uh, it looks like Southie. Uh, A tier. Galarian Meowth looks like a piece of shit, and I love that. Galarian Ponyta is an S tier. That is like, again, on the on the on the same tier as Alolan Vulpix. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen. And that is straight up cotton candy tail. I want to eat that tail. Now we're getting to like My Little Pony territory. I feel or. Yeah, it looks like a My Little Pony, which isn't a bad thing, but, uh, it's not as cute. I'm gonna say B tier. Galarian Slowpoke, fine. It's like somebody pissed on his head and tail. Poor guy. Uh, C tier. Galarian Slow Bro, the cannon is cool. I like the Mega Man cannon. Also, purple's a better fit for the color scheme than piss yellow. So we'll say A tier. Oh man, Galarian Farfetch is an S tier. Like, this is like, I think what Alolan Golem was trying to do. Uh, this is the Chad Farfetch. Look at that giant leak. Look at his eyebrows. This guy doesn't fuck around. Galarian Weezing, that's an S tier. Just <laughs> green toxic mustache and be like stovepipe hat. That is a pipe. 
Come on, S tier. This guy has, is making all the factories, and hundreds of children have died in his factory. Galarian Mr. Mime, I don't like the nose. <laughs> I think the nose doesn't do it any favors. It's okay. It's like a B tier. I, I know, I, I like what they're going for. Let's see, Galarian Articuno, pretty cool. Like, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a graceful dancer. I kind of like that. A tier, and purple. Purple's a cool look for, uh, a legendary bird. Galarian Zapdos is also cool. I like that it runs. I think that's really funny. It's still, you can tell it's Zapdos, but it's a weird orange Zapdos. A tier. Galarian Moltres, uh, probably the least recognizable of the three. Uh, I'd still say A tier though, because I like all three's designs a lot. And the the color scheme, I think, does this one a lot of favors. I like, I love the red black. Galarian Slow King is an S tier. Just that, that terrifying helmet mask is so cool. It has a cape. Come on. This is like the final boss. Final boss Loking S tier. Galarian Corsola is an improvement. I think Corsola is fine. Galarian Corsola is creepy and looks like it's, you know, like really haunted and like Cordyceps fungi, like like A tier. Galarian uh, Zigzagoon is an S tier because it looks like Selfie. The tongue wagging out, the- oh my god, it's so cute. I love Galarian Zig Zig Zigzagoon. Especially a Pokemon I didn't care about in the original, they really improved it. And Galarian Lanoon is uh, like a B tier, it's still good. This is where I feel like the original is just so pure. Galarian uh, Darumaka is fun, but it's just kind of, you know, ice version. And yeah, I know that's uh, hypocritical considering what I said about Sandshrew, but I mean, it's still like a B tier. It's fun. Galarian Darmanitan I like better because it has the ridiculous snowball afro. Beard, like beard or lips? Both? I don't know. But they went for something funny and I like that. A tier. Galarian Mask, it's the same thing but purple eye and chunk. C tier, who cares? And then Galarian Stunfisk, who wanted a Stunfisk? Like, who cares? I do like that it has, it looks like kind of like a bear trap though. So, B tier, I guess, it's fine. Mega Venusaur, I'm gonna be honest, uh, not the best one. It, it just kind of looks like a busier Venusaur, uh, C tier. And so these are based off not how much I like the original Pokemon, but how much I think it's interesting if that, that they're a variation of the original. Charizard X, uh, which I really like. Uh, I love, you know, if you're gonna do a cool Charizard, make it look different, black, blue, that's an awesome color scheme. We'll do A tier. And then Charizard Y is like the stupid one. Like, okay, it's got a horn on its head and it's kind of spiky. D tier, who cares? Blast, Mega Blastoise, I like the big cannon. That's kind of it though, so B for big cannon. Alakazam is fun. I like the beard. I think the beard is a nice touch. And it's got five spoons. I'll say B tier. B tier, B for beard. Mega Gengar, kind of ruins a good Pokemon. I like it fine i don't know if i like it like on or yeah the weird arms are kind of stupid uh b tier mega king is gone such a simple idea have the baby come out full grown and fight but that's actually really cute uh a tier it's clever and and they do it really clever stuff with it in battle it's cool mega pincer uh i don't like the eyes but i love the wings so i'm gonna say b tier Mega Gyarados just makes us look like, like, what, a fucking Carvana? This is also, a, like, it just makes it look fucking stupid. It's bold, but I don't like how it looks. It looks like a shrimp. I'm gonna say, like, C tier. Mega Aerodactyl again. Uh, spiky stones! Spikes! D tier. Oh god, the Mewtwo's. I think Mega Mewtwo X is so fucking ugly. This is like, someone's like, let me do draw Mewtwo, but cooler. Oh, but it looks stupid. In fact, F tier. But Mega Mewtwo Y at least looks interesting, like a weird combination of Mew and Mewtwo or something. B tier? It's okay. Mega Ampharos, look at that luxurious hair. Also, the tail looks like, like dessert with cherries and whipped cream. B tier. Mega Scizor, I didn't even know this existed. Just looks like a toy version of Scizor. Like, let's make Scizor into a Metabot. Uh, C tier? Mega Heracross, it's cute, but it, it kind of is just Heracross with a different horn. C tier. 
Mega Hound Doom. A lot of these are not that good. Like, who cares about this? It's like they just put like a chest or a shoulder armor on a Hound Doom D tier. Mega Tyranitar. Again, just oh man, it's got long stupid spikes. D for dumb. Uh, Mega Blaziken. I kind of like the goofy like ear hair, but it doesn't look that different. Ah, uh, C tier. Mega Gardevoir. Is this different? Yeah, okay. The dress is bigger. I guess. I love the Gard. I love Gardevoir as a Pokemon, but as a Mega. This is a D tier. Mega Mawile. I do like this. Uh, it's not a crazy difference. It's still like a B tier. But, you know, it, this feels like the step up without it looking dumb. And then immediately we go back to dumb. Mega Agron. Man, these all look stupid. They did a much better job with, like, Gigantamax concepts uh, in the later game. But D... D for don't give a shit. Mega Metacham. At least they tried something here. I like the four arms, or I mean six arms with the four extra arms. I kind of like the head, the almost turban. I'm gonna say B tier. There, there was an effort made here. Uh, Mega Manic Trick. This is actually kind of funny. Let's make it a big lightning bolt. B for bold choices. Mega Ben Bayonet. I like that the hands almost look like zipper mouths and tongues and. That's actually really creepy and fun, so I'm going to say B tier. I really don't like a lot of these, though, I'm realizing. Mega Absol. Oh, God. It's like someone's deviant art, like, prediction of an Absol fucking evolution. Uh, C tier. Latios and Latios. Why would you make them both purple? That's such a waste. Like, make one, like, purple and the other, I don't know. I mean, I get it. Red and blue make purple or whatever you're trying to do. Make it green. Make it something, like, cool, like... Now they just look like the same Pokemon in different poses? Fucking F tier. F or fuck you. Uh, Mega Garchomp. Again, just too many teeth on this guy. Uh, is it an improvement? No. It's it's a C tier. I kind of like the scythe hands, but that's it. Mega Lucario. I like the hair. The locks of hair are okay. But still. Overall, these kind of suck ass, huh? Uh, C tier? Mega Obama Snow. I like that this looks like a cat that got pissed, right? It's like the hair sticking up. So I'm going to say B tier. Okay, let's see if the ones from Omega Ruby were any better. Mega B Drill. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, more needles. Doesn't necessarily mean better, um, but it's fine. I'll say B. Mega Pidgeot. The blue is kind of fun. I kind of like the blue tips, but B. I don't mind it. Uh, Mega Slow Bro is funny. You know, it's just a top. A tier. At least it made me smile and not go, hey, that looks fucking stupid. Mega Steelix. You know what I think is working for me is some of these colors are fun. I like the rainbow crystal in this. B tier. It, it's not bad. Uh, Mega Sceptile. Uh, that sort of like stinger tail is cool. Kind of a busy design in the front, but I like the focus on the tail. I think that's fun. So B tier. Uh, Mar uh, Swampert. Mega Swampert. This is an improvement. I think this actually looks better. Swampert's kind of stupid. This is like... Yo, I'm gonna fuck you up. A tier. I like it. It, it this, lo I love how tough it looks. Mega Sableye S tier. Very, you know, really fun. Let's make the eyes rubies and let's have a giant ruby to hide behind. Really clever, cute idea. S tier. Oh god, Mega Sharpedo. That's what happened. Just stretch it out and give it spikes and that's gonna give you a C tier. Mega Camerupt. I don't mind this actually. The focus to make it one volcano is kind of fun. The grin is really funny. And, you know, I like, you know, <laughs> I'm warming up to this. I'm going to say B tier. I like the tuft of hair around it. Mega Altaria. Uh, it's very fluffy. This is a B tier. I want to take a nap in it. Mega Glalie. Ah! I don't hate it. I don't like the black part. It looks like a gross beard, but B tier. I like Glalie. Glalie with a big open mouth is... The terror I didn't realize I needed in my life. Mega Salamence. I actually like the stupid moon silhouette. Or, like, outline. Uh, that's actually bold. It's a bold choice. It's immediately distinctive. Uh, it's not just spikes on a Pokemon. A tier. Mega Metagross. I don't mind it. I like the golden bigger X. I like that it's kind of floating and more, like, uh, kind of, like, harkens back to, like, its pre-evolution, right? I like that. A tier. Mega Rayquaza. 
Something about this, actually, I like. I like the sort of trails of, like, what are these, like, fire hair? Like, it almost looks like a like a mythical dragon from, like, like what you would see on, like, art or something. Like, I kind of like that. B tier. Mega Lopunny. I actually like how this looks. I like that they made her look like, like, a, like a fighter. Although, it, did they give her tights with tears in them? That's some horny shit there. But S tier, I actually think this is a very cute, fun design and a, a new twist on the character. Mega Gallade. The cape is okay. I kind of like the blade. I mean, the extra blades. Uh, but it's still like a B tier. It's not like crazy. Mega Audino. You know, I, I, I actually kind of like this. Uh, I like that it's a different color. I think that's always a bold choice. Yeah, this kind of looks like, like a cape or that it's wearing. This is like, it'd be like the helpful... RPG character in a tutorial. It's cute. B tier. Mega Deonce. This looks better, actually. I like the very ornate sort of wedding dress, like, crystal chandelier look. This is what it should have looked like. The oval one looks kind of stupid now. This is an A tier. I like it. Gigantamax Charizard. This one to me is like, kind of whatever. It's just, you made it bigger. Uh, I mean, obviously, obviously these are all making them bigger, but even the design is just... I don't know. It's like a C for me. Gigantamax Butterfree. This is what I'm talking about. Let's make the wings a different glowy green color. Um, also, he's like a little ball in the middle. Uh, a tier. And it's very, it's very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take it back. The fact that they made, they brought back Fat Pikachu. That's an S tier, my friend. Uh, I, again, they just made him big and chubby, but that's what we want. We want the Chubster. Uh, S tier. Gigantamax Meowth, S tier. Again, it's like why I love Alolan Executor, right? Long, long, yeah. I love this. I love this motherfucker. Whoa, I, I don't think I've seen Gigantamax Machamp. That's kind of scary. Uh, I kind of like it. A tier. The, the looming eyes, I think, really make this for me. Gigantamax Gengar is an S tier. It's just incredible. It's the Looney Tunes, like, Portal. It's a, it as a mouth. It make Gengar a door, and it's a, he's amazing. S tier. I have not seen Gigantamax Kingler. This kind of fucking rules, actually. Uh, not only does it look badass, I'm gonna say S tier. I want to eat this. It looks like that. Looks like if you crack that claw open, it'd be delicious. Gigantamax Lapras. I like the music note or scale ice around it. That's kind of fun. You know, they made Lapras look badass. A tier, I'm impressed. Gigantamax Eevee, the fluff is what saves this. I would I would be a hypocrite again and say, oh, it's just a big Eevee, but the big fluff, we'll say B tier, B for big fluff. Uh, Gigantamax Snorlax, this is just funny. You know, it's like kind of Torterra, right? Uh, an entire forest grew on this lazy bitch. A tier, it's funny. Oh God. Uh, Gigantamax Garbodor. It's got an entire ship in it, like buildings. That's fucking hilarious. That's S tier. This is like if a Garbodor became Katamari Damacy. Gigantamax Melmetal. I already don't give a shit about Melmetal. I like that it kind of was almost like the Porygon 2 of it, but I don't care about this C tier. It, you can't make me like or care about this Pokemon. Gigantamax Corviknight. It looks cool. You know, it doesn't really jump out at me though. Uh, I think Corviknight already looks so badass that just giving it red wings isn't really enough. Although I like these little like flappy things around it. That's kind of fun. Uh, we'll say B tier. Gigantamax or Beetle. Yeah, we're going for the straight UFO route. That's funny. B tier. Yeah, I like it. Gigantamax Dredna. This is stupid, I think. Like, I like how Dredna looks. This just kind of removes what I like about Dreadnought. Where is the spiky jaw? Why is it like a big stupid stone? Why is, this looks like you could push it over and it would be able to get back up. Honestly, D tier. Uh, Gigantamax Colossal. Eh, not that much different from the original. Uh, I do think the, the orange glowing eyes are fun. Eh, but D tier for or originality. Gigantamax Flapple or Appleton. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these ones where they're Gigantamaxes of the new Pokemon don't really do it for me. This is like a C tier. Gigantamax Sandaconda, uh, they just sort of 
made a different angle. I like the tornado look, but it's still a C tier. Gigantamax Toxtricity. The sort of like antenna is kind of goofy. Toxtric Toxtricity is cool that he's standing on two legs. Putting him on four, like four on all fours is kind of a downgrade C tier. Sislipede, you made it longer. D tier. A Hatterene. Yeah, I mean, you made it bigger. C tier. Got Gigantamax Grim Snarl. This one at least has a little more. It's got completely armored. I like that touch. Is it amazing? No, but you know, B tier. It's not bad. Gigantamax all creamy. Here's what I'm talking about. Make it a big cake. Be fun. Go bold. You know, it's just a big fucking cake. S tier. S for such a good idea. Copperaja. Making it like a weird two legged thing is kind of funny, so I'll give you a B. It looks stupid, but it's funny. Duralodon, this is hilarious. S tier, it's a skyscraper. In fact, I kind of wish the original looked like a skyscraper, which it does a little bit, but it looks more kind of like a weird dick. Gigantamax Venusaur. Okay, so this is a much better design than Mega Venusaur. I like the sort of mushroom sort of cover. It's cute. It's cute. It's interesting. A tier. Gigantamax Blastoise. Um... I like this sort of, it almost looks like a, a walking, like, fortress, right? Uh, in fact, I like this a lot. S tier. The cannon sticking out all around, like, it's like, you almost can picture, like, little guys running around inside there. Uh, S tier. Gigantamax Rillaboom. Okay, this is where, I think this is an improvement on the original. Like, give him his own drum set. Yeah, he deserves it. A tier. Gigantamax Cinderace. I like the Gunbuster uh, pose, but most of this is just a fireball. So if I'm gonna be totally honest, B tier. Gigantamax Inteleon. I'm gonna immediately be a hypocrite. This is just a set piece. Like his tail is a tower, but that's so funny. He's a sniper on a on his own tail tower. S tier. I don't even like this Pokemon that much, but S tier. Urshifu. There's two of them. Red and blue. Take your pick, they're both boring C tier. That was Alolan, Galarian, Megas, and Gigantamax forms. Yeah, and like I said, it's based off how I think they improve or don't improve upon the original, not on how much I like the original. Um, otherwise, yeah, that was it. Uh, let me know if you want me to do any other Pokemon-related rankings in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!